Welcome back to Girl Talk. With me now is Bruce Wood of Hilton Head Capital Partners. As I mentioned before, that's where we are today in his beautiful offices. Welcome back. It's good to see you. Wonderful to see you, Betsy. So we have a lot of lot to talk about today, and we're going to have two segments to do it in. So I'm excited okay. about this. So we're going to start off though, because you um, mentioned to me before we started filming that you have somebody new in your office. So maybe introduce us to him. I do. Uh, Doug isn't with us today. He's yeah. traveling. But uh, Doug Fair joined uh, the firm as a uh, partner, and uh, Doug's an attorney. Um, he's also been in the insurance industry all of his life. Okay. Uh, he moved his family from Denver five months ago. Right. Uh, his wife woke up one day and said, our kids are going to college in Vanderbilt, Old Miss, and Kentucky, so we're moving to Hilton Head. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> and that was it. And she, she made that decision and he followed suit. Happy wife, happy life. That's right, that's right. <laughs> and so Doug Fair has joined us as the retirement specialist, and that is his specialty. Uh, he does advertising, and, and uh, uh, so we're beginning to Roll him out on the on the scene, so to speak, nice. for Hilton Head. Nice. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a good good mix between the two of you. Yes. 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 So, um, something that is in the news a lot, and I think people are wanting to dabble in it or get interested in it, but probably don't know a whole lot about it, and that's cryptocurrency. Yes. So, tell me a little bit about your knowledge of it and how maybe it is working in your business. Well, that's, uh, that's a great question. First of all, it hasn't been legalized uh, by the federal government for the banking system. And as I've said before, they're working on that, yep. all right? The banks have to work on that because um, one of my new clients uh, transacts business for the banking industry, sh switching money from one country to another. So this is the problem with crypto. We're in the infancy of it. All right? Yep. Is it going to come come about? The answer is sure, absolutely. Uh, and uh, countries are trying to get their hands around it. But the exciting thing about it is anything new is change. Yes. And change is wonderful. Hilton had changes, and it's a better place than it was 10 years ago. Sure. Uh, so that's the exciting thing about crypto. Uh, it's also very volatile. So it's not where you put your family fortune. Certainly. Okay. Right. And uh, it's going to be extremely volatile. Um, it's not authorized to be traded by some of the big firms. All right. Recently, JP Morgan, I believe, authorized their advisors to be able to purchase it. All right. In certain formats. So it's, it's changing America. It's changing the world. Yeah. Um, and I think that that's exciting. Very exciting. I mean, you know, as you said, some things new on the horizon. You know, it's kind of like back in the day when we it was the dot com kind of a thing yes. going on. And so maybe this is a, a little bit like that. So we're going to keep our finger on that pulse and see what happens going forward. That's right. Um, it is going to, the key is it's going to be very volatile. Now, our younger generation who is working off their cell phones and Robin Hood, um, they are totally different. They don't have four or five million dollars. Right. All right. So consequently, their money, they can put smaller amounts in and do very well and, and, and maybe absorb that risk because they have 40 or 50 years to offset it. Exactly. Exactly. You know, I don't have 40 right. or 50 years. <laughs> right. And I know most of your clients don't have 40 or 50 no, years. So. No, no, no. All right. Well, we're going to go on to another subject that's probably a little bit controversial, and that's marijuana. Uh-huh. Tell marijuana me about Marijuana is a lot like, uh, um, like crypto. It's in its infancy as far as use. It's not a federally approved item, so you're not going to see it in cigarettes by Philip Morris, right. okay, or Altria, all right? Uh, but it is coming. 38 states have approved use of it in one way or another, and there are some really good companies out there, um, and I can't mention them that would be promoting them. But the issue comes down to this is an area that is, is going to be very, very useful. For a lot of people, medically, right. uh, socially, um, I don't have a, a social opinion on this. Uh, my job is to always follow the law, and so we do. But the clients are very interested in it. They're also very interested in the crypto, but in a different format. Yeah. Well, I know that I've, you know, I've been reading in South Carolina. They've 
several times tried to put a bill through for medical marijuana, and I think we're still we're back at that stage again where it's gone through at least some of the process of getting there. So yes, I think it's just a matter of time before it's in our state. Yes, I believe it's uh, that way too. Most of the the companies associated with this are out of Canada. Their laws are different than ours. And so it's a matter of changing laws, changing distribution systems, changing the availability of it. Um, and it's becoming more um, accepted, I think is the best way. For and sure. like everything in life, and I won't get into some of the subjects, but politicians run from making decisions. <laughs> <laughs> they do, like scalded dogs. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, is it good for the people or not good? Uh, I think people vote, and um, I don't have an opinion on that. I think voting is a good thing. Yeah. Well, and who would have thought that 10 years ago or 20 years ago, we would be sitting here having a conversation about cryptocurrency and marijuana in the, oh. in the sense that we're excited about investing in those oh, kinds of things. I isn't mean, you, that the truth? Yeah. But you know what people don't realize, okay, is the internet. Um, the internet was actually uh, spawned out of the University of Michigan when the university was so big that they had to come up with a way to communicate between departments. So they started it, communicating it, and they passed it on to other universities. And then, wow, this is a cool deal. Yeah. And so then, obviously, you know, Bill Gates and the others picked it up pretty quickly and, and commercialized it. That's my point. Everything starts with a single step. Yeah. And that was a single step. Um, and this is a single step for us with crypto. Yeah. Um, the internet didn't exist 30 years ago. Exactly. Now it does, and look how important it is. Right. So that's the exciting thing about what's going on now. I personally am very excited about every day in the crypto world because my clients are telling me about it. Yeah. The, the young ones are. Right. <laughs> well, Bruce, it's been great so far, and we're going to be back talking with you in just a moment.